Uh, it's, it's always good. I, I think uh, getting the 500, uh, it's something that, that this late in the season, this, uh, this program hasn't done in a while. And uh, it's always great to get a victory. And, uh, you know, we'll look at it tomorrow. There's always things we can improve on, things we do well. Can you talk about DeMarco's and uh, Dominique's uh, night tonight without Vincent playing? Yeah. Uh, you know, Nico's, Nico's a, an explosive player, a young kid who's, who's just getting better with experience. And uh, it's going to be exciting to, to continue to work with him through the, through the next couple of years. And uh, I think he's going to continue to grow the player this year. Uh, DeMarco really is just uh, turning into a force. And I don't know anything the other less you can say. Uh, he's, he's a mismatch. You know, they, they double team him in the end zone. We still put it up and got him. That's the kind of plays he makes, and uh, it's it's exciting when you got a got a good team. Was there any <coughs> that you might not be able to do that without BJ? You know, no. I, I think uh, we know that we're deep in that position. Uh, it's it's tough having BJ out, obviously you lose a weapon like that. But uh, I think we, I think we kind of we just picked up picked up a lot. It is tough, but but Nico played great, or Roberto, you know, all the guys. John Toledo's coming and getting some getting some playing time, and they're all doing a pretty good job. What's up? Welcome and happy Halloween. This is Overtime with the Daily Aztec. I'm David Pope here with Edward Lewis on the field of Qualcomm Stadium where the Aztecs just won 23-20 to over New Mexico. Edward, it wasn't pretty and it wasn't easy, but the Aztecs got it done. They're 4-4. Four and four. They're at 500. How did it happen tonight? Yeah, like you said, it was hard to watch at times. This New Mexico team was 0-7 coming into the game, was statistically one of the worst in the entire nation, and yet they were hanging with the Aztecs. They hung with them all the way until the fourth quarter. But like you said, the Aztecs found a way to get it done. They, they pulled out ahead at the end, won by three points, and you know what can you say? A W is a W. All right, and things don't get any easier for the Aztecs next week when a top 10 ranked team in TCU comes into town. What do the Aztecs need to do to hang in there with the Frogs? Yeah, they got to limit turnovers, limit penalties. Just pray they play well. Uh, TCU is a national championship contender. Uh, a couple weeks ago, they beat BYU, a team that beat San Diego State on this same field. Uh, so TCU is a team to be reckoned with. Again, they're going to have to play very, very well to, to even hang with TCU this weekend. All right, there it is. Edward, do you have any plans for Halloween tonight? Uh, I'm going to a party with you, Pope. Oh, that's right. Uh, are you dressing as Tony Romo? That's what I am. That's adorable. All right, looks like Glenn's getting impatient. So, for Edward Lewis and our man behind the camera, Glenn, I'm David Pope. Thank you for clicking that button.